Hi, I'm Jake. I'm part of a group at Headley, and we're gonna, you're going to come with us today. We're going to take you around, and we're going to show you the magic of television. Hoping I can run it deep and get away faster than ever from me. Another night, and who can see if leaving it? Only talking French to me. Okay, cool. That's it. Do you, Wait, no, do you know a little French? Uh, I'm, petit peu. I'm trying to assimilate. It's really difficult. I'm not very good at it and I have a terrible memory, so it's difficult for me to go ahead, man. Do your thing. Magic television. So, um, so what can you do in French? If we do a little interview in French, can you uh can you oh, no, talk I don't even know. I don't even know if we could do that. But let's try. Let's just You know what we can do? We'll get Tom over here so that at least there's like a double chance. We're gonna do reverse translation. You know how usually in music producers they'll interview in English and then speak in French? Mm -hmm. I'll speak in French and then you'll translate what I said. Or try to at least. Okay. okay. Alright. Say que les gars de Headley, uh, fait peu connu, en fait pas connu du tout. Avant que je travaillais à Musique Plus, j'avais interviewé les gars de Headley pour un genre de démo que j'ai montré aux, aux gens de Musique Plus. Donc on va vous montrer ça en exclusivité. Um, hi, my name is Pat. I'm a big douchebag. Today we have Headley. Uh, they're a really good band and they've come to Music Plus a few times. It's an exclusive performance they're doing today. And uh, we're really excited to have them. Uh, I never shave my balls, and I'm a hairy bastard. And throw the clip. <laughs> and uh, here's our new video. You know what I like about you guys? And here's the thing about the music industry nowadays. It's not like the 80s anymore, right? It's like no one can party all day, Nobody's all night. Nobody's friends. Right? Everyone needs to work. No, seriously. It's like it's, it's really a business now. But you guys, I don't know how you do it. Seems like all you guys do is f around. Is there some kind of method to the madness, or are you guys just yeah, left out? Yeah, yeah, we, we refuse to take ourselves too seriously. Everybody, everybody's a, a very, very big fan of themselves and don't have time for anybody else. And we make sure that we're having fun before we're doing anything else. Because if we're not having fun, there's no point in doing it. Yeah, that's the key. It's just, it, it's rock and roll. It's not rocket surgery. You know, it's. We're just out there having fun, doing what we do. What, what the hell's rocket surgery? Yeah, dude. So is that like operation where you're like, it's ah! Like, <laughs> operate on rockets? It's a mixture of rocket science and brain surgery. Do you find that um, your latest songs are a little slower and they're appealing to a more adult audience, that that whole like being crazy scheme, you kind of have to like right. play it down? So instead of cool and cool and free, it's not too late to start again. Find a way to smile and never let it. Uh, I think we got everybody's attention at one point or another, so it's not like we need to keep pining after it now, and if they want to pay attention, they, they can. It's sort of like, you know, you know, they know we're in the room now. We don't, we don't wise. need to, uh, you know, shove it in their face any more than it's already been shoved into their face. If you four guys were to start the band all over tomorrow, do you think you'd do the same kind of music, or you'd venture into something different? No, I think, you know, I don't think it's a, it's a conscious decision the kind of music we're making. I think it's... Uh, Songs just kind of come out, and it's uh, it's not like we're going, hey guys, let's try to let's try to write a pop song, or like you know, like let's try to write like a reggae tune, or like you know, something in three four. It's just the, the songs that come out come out, and I think they sound the way they do because it's just the same four guys. So I think it's not a matter of would we decide to write the same kind of music. It would probably just happen. Jake's the kind of guy he is, and the three of us, when the four of us all kind of get together, it would all kind of just kind of comes out. So. I'll just yeah. explain quickly what's, uh, what's going on. So at 6 o'clock we're live. You're about the first thing we'll see on the show. So Shelly, do you, know, do you remember Shelly? So she's one of the, the, the DJ here. You'll remember her when you see her. <laughs> we go to commercial, then we go back to another break, be the second song. So what's everything after you said that you're the director? <laughs> I'm being really healthy on this too. I'm sleeping a lot because it's it's a lot of work. It's an hour and 45 minutes set for us. I'm doing like an hour and 45 minutes pretty much every night. Which is a lot because it's a lot going on for us on stage all the time. And you just play every single song? We're, uh, we're trying to cram like... First record, acoustic set in the middle, and then second record. So, uh, yeah, we're just ramming them in there and it's barrage off the start. So why don't you Tell me, God, our old school will waste away the weekend and burn. 